I have an idea. We definitely know it's immune to fire. I'm not being baked. I've been down that road once. <laughs> Cut to bait. Ta -da. <laughs> so. Let me wait. Let me call in more warriors to hear this idea. Do you need engineers? I'll oh, get wait, 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 wait. Let's do lunch. Okay. <laughs> Got two. You guys are doing lunch. Uh, you get to meet up with the people in charge of the city who have come out to uh, meet with you, especially since this guy has told them that you can rid them of the Shugoth problem. Because he has a big fucking mouth. <laughs> You're thinking, hold on, let me find the right pictures here. So many zones. So many zones. Flip back and forth. Where the fuck did it go? Not that one. Yeah, there it is. Hey, yep. Right. You get to meet up with <clears throat> the rulers of this place. Don't put that there. And keeping the literary on this board, please, because uh, that way you won't wow. up the cards. The ruler, rulers of Kinleyville, you can see, is Darius and Claire. Their advisor is named Obed, who is with them. And also, they brought the captain of the uh, uh, skyship, who I need a Sandy roll for. I've just revealed him. His name is Mr. Pickles. It's a very small Sandy roll. Zero slash D3. Max is at three. <laughs> he seems to be... Uh, some sort of dog who walks around on his ass is ready. Roll D3, please. All right, great. One out of three. Yes, he looks cute as shit to uh, Fulton. Freddy's like, ah, ah, I got a fire axe. And yeah, uh, so those are some of the people that they uh, bring in. So. The last time you guys tried to fight him, the Shoggoth, did you guys have observers or like did you see like if anything did damage? Well, we had a lot of observers to start with. The problem is, is that over half of them went crazy when they saw it. Mm -hmm. The remaining ones, uh, we, we noticed that uh, our weapons did very little damage. And it regenerates, says Claire. And it regenerates, says Darius. Fairly quickly. Okay. And it seems super tough. We just don't know how to deal with it. And what's worse is it is in the water. Sometimes it will make a, a go to try to get up the waterfall uh, into the whirlpool. Uh, but it, it doesn't seem able to make it all the way. It tried riding the dragon, but the dragon couldn't fit through there because it was too big. Darius says the dragon's about the size of two 747s, nose to tail. Um, can I make a roll to see if I know anything about Shogoths? Give me a Cthulhu Mythos roll. I'll try to support your thoughts. Says Fulton, trying to come in on your wave. Even though he didn't know what you were thinking of, he wants to support you. And I won't. I mean, it's that. Well, if he says something about it, you can definitely support him. But if he's just thinking about it, how do you know what he's thinking about? He could be thinking about having a That's wife. That's fine. I got it. Oh, come on. You know what to do. Fire axes are the key, as well as the stuff that comes out of the fire extinguisher, whatever that chemical is, that will defeat it. Doc, look. Yeah. All we have to do, see this axe? Yep. I, I, I know about Shabbat. They're weak to axes and fire extinguishers. Well, the foam in the fire extinguisher. All we have to do is get maybe two or three truckloads of fire extinguisher foam, drop it in there with a bunch of axes, and it should die. Hmm. Interesting. 
Aside from poisoning our water supply, I'm not sure I'm down with this idea, says Darius. He shakes his dreadlocks. So I was kind of thinking maybe we could go enter the temple and see if there's anything in the temple that can defeat the Shoggoth. Or give us some knowledge into how to defeat the Shoggoth. That's fine, but just so you know, says Darius, we've been warned that there's a Shoggoth at the temple, if you're talking about the Dagon Temple. The lizard, Isn't this the Shoggoth from the temple? We don't know. There might be two. Okay. It could be the same one, but we don't know. Nobody's seen the one at the Dagon Temple, but the crocodile-headed people warned us very explicitly about it because they're making a peace treaty. They did say, though, that if you get any treasure from there, it's yours, and they don't want it brought around them at all because they believe mm -hmm. it's cursed. They think, and it could just be superstition, that anybody who touches the treasure will die a horrible death. Excellent. Yes. Unless, of course, you're the one touching it. As for me, I'm a little superstitious since magic does seem to work. So I would ask that if you get it and want to keep it, just go through Clem's quick and get out of here with it. Is that fair? Sure. Great. Yeah, you can have everything you want. Just don't leave any of it here. And go through Clem's quick if you get it. Or a different way if you want to teleport out a different way. Mm. <clears throat> I got to warn you, though, this is, sounds very dangerous, especially, well, I'm not sure where we get a truckload or two of fire extinguishers, though. Are you sure that? Now that he's mentioned it, Chris, if you want to do a Cthulhu Mythos, you're welcome to do it. See if so, you think that chug can be defeated by fire extinguishers. No. Maybe. <laughs> so, also what I was thinking, Logan, is he was talking about the chug and, like, spitballing it, not like he was just, like, because we're all discussing it. Otherwise, right. I know what metagaming is. I, I get mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Um... So that's a lot of fire extinguishers you guys are going to need. If you'd yeah, a little bit, we need money for that. So isn't the lake that the temple's in the same lake that the gate is by? No. Actually, oh, he says... Uh, I've asked, that's why I asked this question before, and I was told that's what it was. Now, in order to uh, uh, get to the uh, uh, temple there... A second. Uh, right now you're in the middle plains and you would uh, if you go up the river then you get to the gate where all the water comes from although the water also continues flowing down just gets added to from the gate but if you go downstream uh, past where the hydra either is or was we're not sure it seems to be missing then you get to a swamp that nobody has named yet we haven't named it uh, and in that swamp, which is downstream, opposite direction of the gate, then that's where the Dagon Temple is. Sounds kind of dangerous. It is freaky dangerous. We are absolutely terrified of not only the Temple of Dagon, but the swamp in general. We pretty much stick to the plains. I mean, there's a lot of good farming here. Uh, plus, uh, we've got Hornsby out with different teams doing geology uh, uh, searching and whatnot. He is our head geologist, and he traveled with Alex Kinley, don't you know? Alex Kinley praised him highly. He said he was confident. I think we should just stick with the fire extinguisher idea. Just I don't know where me. you can get so many fire extinguishers, though. We don't have the capital uh, for that, so we need to come up with a different plan. Ah. Yes, well, if you can find a way to use the fire extinguishers without poisoning our drinking water, that would be great. Because I mean, do you really care about the water that much? If well, you, defeat the Shoggoth? you know, if you can actually defeat the Shoggoth, oh, have, have, have your mages come up? Because our mages are still working on it, but if you guys come up with a way of opening and closing the uh, gate to Burlington, we're scared that the uh, uh, dinosaur riders will come back and fuck us up. 
Which is understandable. I don't know how to do that magic that well. Shit. Jesus. I'm working on it, but... All right. Well, uh, yeah, Any anything you can do to help would be great. Um, what about at the source? Uh, do you guys know where the uh, dinosaurs came from? Yeah, I don't want to go do that by myself. He looks at the other guy and goes, you are not loved. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've had a rough few days. He's on punishment right now. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Well, Darius uh, scratches his uh, dreadlocks and says, uh, what help can we give? So can we at least, how about if we have some of your hunters go out with us on like the edge of where the swamp is so we can do some surveillance on the lake where the Shoggoth is supposed to be guarding the temple to see if there is a Shoggoth in there to see if anybody spots it. Well, unfortunately, you can't see the temple from the edge of the swamp. You have to go pretty deep into the swamp to get to the temple. We can provide you with boats. Our hunters really don't want to go in there at all. All right. Terrified of the place. Mm. Um, I want to just there's an Irish what, shark out there. We're just while they're busy talking, I just want to check this like behind uh, my like secretly. I uh, just want to check does my phone work here? Ah, excellent. Hold on a second. You are experimenting to find out new shit. A good idea. Take a card. Let me give you the answer here as soon as I can stall just enough. And plus, I gotta let out the fucking cat. Uh, give me a willpower times one roll to make your phone come to life. Oops, wrong button. <clears throat> uh, willpower times one. No, in my luck, this will be a fumble. That'd be awesome. Yep, yep, call it. You managed to destroy your phone. Well done. Well, it's only a bonus. Oh, whatever. Nice. Hold on. Let me let the fucking cat out again, or unless he's fucking with me some more. You want to go outside? 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 Well, so much for that idea. Oh. I was going to... I was going to just get a drone in here, but tech doesn't really work. But yeah. Don't you want to chase the birds? Birds? Oh, you're such a fucking pain in the ass. Mm. <clears throat> Hate the cat so much. I. I... Right, so tech doesn't like this place. Not at all. Oh, okay. I mean, it's not a hard no, but it's a very fucking unlikely destroy your burner phone no. Okay. Um, yeah, I have no idea. All right, we can go talk to the lizard men and see if they'll help us. They won't. <laughs> Alex already talked to them, and... Uh, Pretty much, they, they normally don't like people going there, but they said that they don't, they've decided that humans are okay, but not so much as they want to save them. So we've been given permission if we want to go there, just don't go there and bring it back to the lizard men, is what they told us. Uh, maybe we can negotiate now that we have the whole stone slab thing from the birdmen, maybe they can be potential allies if we can negotiate. No, the lizardmen already are. Oh, you want to go talk to the, the birdmen? Bird yeah. You can. We've had a visit from them when we first came here. Alex Kinley. Uh, Alex Kinley. He looks around. Stop it. <laughs> uh, Alex Kinley uh, uh, helped us negotiate that. We have a peace with them, but um, huh. they're very standoffish. They want, they're isolationistic. They wish to be left alone. Uh huh. I see. Okay. We ask that you not bring us into war with lizard men, if at all possible, since we have one or more shugouts to deal with that we have not figured out how to fight. 
We're hoping uh, that Alex comes and kills it. So, the, what exactly are you hoping to find in the temple? This A way thing? to vanquish the Shargoth? Since the Shargoth came from the temple? And, okay. We've heard that the artifacts of the temple are mysterious and powerful. And their power is only matched by their great mystery. No, no, dear. It's their mystery who's yeah. matched by so their the problem powers, is just, lady. Uh-huh. The problem is just getting there. Then. Oh, getting there is easy. We can give you a boat. Uh, you just yeah, but then... sail right over there. You know how to sail boats? No. We can give you a rowboat. You can row it over. Do you know how to row boats? Has anybody been in there and been attacked by the Shoggoth? Nobody's the gone there. We stay the fuck away from it because it's rumored to have a Shoggoth, and we are absolutely terrified of Shoggoths. We are not adventurers. We are simple people. We like to raise crops and raise our children and take over as much of the plains as possible. And there are many other things around, of course. There's the forest off to the far west. There's mountains. Uh, we haven't gone into those. Yes. Many, many places here. We have only seen a small part of the world. Uh, although, if you go far enough west, beware of the PKers. Mm-hmm. Right. Of course. We don't know what is happening with them, uh, but we did manage to buy a plot here far away from the normal starting area of the game, which is far to the west. It turned Doc, out to be a good investment. Doc, right, quick question. Yeah. You know there's a, a whirlpool kind of a thing over in Burlington that yep. connects to this place? Mm-hmm. All right, well... That's what the one that's I, in the air that they're talking about. They yeah, all know. Well, since technology works under there, what if I sent a drone through the whirlpool? Hopefully it doesn't get destroyed and see what we see. If the show us still there or the dragon's back or what? Oh, we, we know the Shagat's still there. We have... Uh, oh some guards that keep an eye on the area because we don't want the Shoggoth deciding to come to the village and kill everybody. It's Fine. That would be near the uh, uh, village of uh, Alexopolis. What? Not nothing. He looks around like, what? Right. This is a very grave threat to Alexopolis. Plus, if All it... Right. Rolls into Kinleyville from there, it could be within striking of Alexburg. So, I would like to go to the swamp and do some surveillance to see if we even see a Shoggoth or not. Well, uh, we, we can, we since I know uh, you don't want to go there, you'll help us get there, and then you're gonna fuck off, right? Well, I was going to say that unless the, well, we know something of the habits of the Shoggoth from observing the one and getting okay. reports from our decreasingly sane spotters. But um, apparently it, when it is uh, not trying to go up the waterfall, it just sits under the water and doesn't move and we can't see it. And then all of a sudden it will explode out and try to climb and then uh, fortunately, it's failed, and then it sinks back under the water and doesn't move, and we can't see it. It doesn't seem to haunt or do anything normal. We don't know how in the fuck it feeds itself or anything. It, it's almost like... But maybe that's what the people are for. What? I think. No, no. Look, the people in Berlin... No. no, I I know where no. you're going with that. No. Yeah. No. Okay. No. Everybody else looks baffled. So mm. does it hunt people? Like, can you go in the water and mess around in the water, and then it comes after people, or what? Uh, nobody's tried that actually. Um, the dragon got close to it, and it became uh, a scarf for the dragon. Briefly. Trying to choke the life out of it. There was quite a titanic fight. 
unfortunately, we did have one of the guys who saw it. Well, you can question him if you wanted. He he went so insane that he ate his own foot. But other than that, he's fine. Would you like to talk to him? Sure. They bring in a guy with a peg foot. It's not a whole peg leg. He only got through at the foot. He His hair is white. Uh, he has several nervous tics. And he constantly looks around like he's ready to have somebody jump out with a fire axe and bury it into his skull. He keeps an eye on uh, Freddy. Hi. Hi. So I heard that you witnessed the fight between the dragon and it. Oh, my God. Ah, he says, yes, it was the most horrifying thing I've ever just seen the dragon. Caused me to hit the brown note in my shorts. I filled up my pants just seeing it, and I could feel reason beginning to go. And then when it came, eyes, the mouths, the gibbering, the techy lee, techy lee, techy lee, techy. Darius goes, Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. I needed that. Yes. So yeah. share with me your burden, and maybe you'll feel better. All right. What would you like to know? I'll tell you anything. Well, no, I'm trying to help him first. <laughs> oh, excellent. Yeah, you, he, he's in a very calm place right now. You've got him in a very light, it's it's not exactly hypnosis, but it's pretty close where he's just kind of sitting very comfortably. He feels safe, despite the guy with the fire axe, stroking the fire axe and smiling at him. So when the dragon was attacking it, did it seem like it was getting hurt at all or no? Yes, but it kept healing, and it didn't get hurt a lot. It, it seemed to barely scratch it, and with its huge, huge claws, although the dragon didn't seem to want to bite it for some reason. But the dragon itself seemed to be getting sucked apart by the thing. Yes. All the mouths, the mouths, the horrible gibbering mouths, and they mm -hmm. would say things. They would say horrible things. Hmm. Gotcha. Okay. I feel you. Yes. It was, it was, and then I knew what I had to do. So I took off my shoe and I took off my sock and I just started biting the shit out of my foot and it saved me. It saved me, and I've still got one foot left, and I hope never to go back there and have to use that. Because if you eat your own foot, then you'll be safe from it. You should probably get yourself some really good shoes to keep your foot safe. That might make yes. you feel better, too. All right. Thank you. No problem. Can I, can I have a hug? Sure. I give him a hug. He hugs you back and cries for a while. Okay. It's so bad. I fucking hate it so much. Please kill me. I understand. Me. I'll, I'm going to try. Thank you. Oh, and there's another thing. I saw the dragon breathe on it, and it didn't really do much. It did some, but not nearly as much as it should have. I don't understand. You can't hurt it. If you can't hurt it and it heals from whatever you do, how can you kill it? You can't. It just, it's, and it looks kind of like it's got plastic. Why is it plastic? I don't understand. It's, it's probably like, best that you don't understand. You know, I think I'm going to go home and take a nap. That sounds like a good idea. Thank you, sir. Yeah. He gets up, somebody hands him his cane, and he hobbles his fucking happy ass out. It appears that just seeing this thing once did bad things to his brain. This could indeed, if you're thinking what I think you're thinking, provide ample punishment for Mr. Let's Burn Down the House. Slash PC base, etc. Yes, making him view it is an evil kind of punishment. So what we could do, before we go try to do some surveillance, so we could always go to the library in the painting 
and see if we can find some books or some research there. On uh, two problems with that. First, the library painting thing not hung up and mounted anymore for reasons. And second, all the books are wildly disorganized. Your yeah, anything in there is horribly difficult, freakishly difficult because uh, you you would need uh, like if you had a large team of people that you hired that were all say professional librarians and well motivated, they could have years of work in there. Of course, yeah, yeah. lucky. Yeah, there. wow, possible. I mean, you could come across a hand-signed copy of the Necronomicon signed by Justice Swift himself with margin notes to help try to reduce the sanity of anybody reading it, which, of course... Why don't we just go to, I don't know, a normal library in Gotham, see if there's something there? I, I'm sure that there's going to be a normal library that will have information on Shagrats. I mean, no. Fine. Okay, no library. How about the internet? The internet has everything. That's huh? nice. You can go and try if you wish. I do have one. Th I have a good idea, though. So oh, okay. I could write a handwritten note, and I could ask. I could write on the note, "Hey, what would be the easiest? Like, what are some ways to kill a Shoggoth? I'd really appreciate it." And then I'm going to put a happy pie on it. I'm going to leave it in the library. Where we saw, where he heard the noise. And where I put the X on the wall by where the gate might be. Okay. Sure. That's so, cool. and it doesn't need to be, like, sure, it, we just need to hang it up and then use it, like, that's not a big deal, mounting the painting. That's yeah. the craziest shit I've heard in a while, says Darius. We were going to, if you want, because this is such a clear and present danger to the town, we've got probably a dozen archers we can mm -hmm. take out there with you. If you want to go... Why don't to go. we just... Since you're so eager to help, would you be willing to go with us? into the library and help us look for something. No, that would take like, that would take years. Like I was, I'm going to yeah. do what I'm going to, I'm going to do what I said first. All right. Uh, and then. Uh, tell me more of this happy pie. So sorry. Oh, no, no, no. It's it's for someone that I know that might be in the library that we're talking about that might have the research. Um, I believe that the way the Shoggoth works is that um, it takes, like, reduced damage from anything. So if you have magic that can that's like kind of like an armor pierce or like an anti-minimum damage thing, that oh. would work. Oh, oh, oh. At last, the strategy, yes. We can... We can... Uh, we can try to do that. We can get some maybe piercing arrows to try to reduce its negation of damage. Yes, I will. Uh, uh, Claire, please sit with them. I will go and talk to the mages and see what they can do. He says, excuse me. He gets up and leaves. So also, if you could make, like, you know, like monks are a thing here, right? Like magic monks that use their fists and they need like gloves so they can hit magical things or. Claire says, well, yes, we do have a couple of those, but uh, they're not really very effective. Now, hold on. Now, if you can have that kind of enchantment put on like a large tarp type thing, like, mm -hmm. like, if you had like five or six blankets that you wove together and then you put that kind of magic on. So it would be like if a giant had <laughs> a cloth glove that like could uh, make it so it would pierce. She is totally confused. Like armor. So like a monk. 
he has magic gloves on and he does damage. So it doesn't do reduced damage. It does more like it bypasses the reduction. What will be the fist in this giant glove? Me. But imagine if I was like 90 feet tall. She goes, Okie dokie. Um, all right. So, does this make you better at swimming? <laughs> no. Because um, it lives in the water. This is a, another problem we have. If we were to. How take deep the is the water? Uh, we don't know. It's deeper than us by a lot. Um, especially near the waterfall where it's very, very deep. Do the fellas need water to survive? No. Do they live in water? No. No. Mm. I can live in space. She looks unhappy about this. She was like, well, shit. Mm. How is it you are so wise in the ways of the Shagat, she says. In a different life, I used to fight them. Okay. Magic doesn't work that way anymore, unfortunately. Because otherwise wow. I would just grab a, my sword and, and attack it. But that was a different life. She looks baffled. I know. Right? Just... I was reincarnated and this is a different world. Ah. What if it just, I don't know, not kill it, but just trap it in there forever, just like cement it or something. Because I don't out? know how to make an elder sign that big and then drop it on that bitch so it can't move. Oh. Uh, all right then. Well. Um, so do you have paper? And or oh, I got my art supplies. Hold on, let me see if I can draw this for you. Hmm. Yes, draw us exactly the kind of glove you would like and dimension. Dun, dun, dun. No, I'm showing them the the a pentagram with the the fire eye inside. Ah, they think that's very interesting. This is um, called an elder sign. This can trap one of those. If you had like a box with this on all sides, right? How the fuck do you get it into that box? I don't know. We are we are wanting to have it killed rather than trapped because things that are trapped tend to get out here. Yes, I agree. But um, this is a symbol that it's weak against. Very well. Um, Ooh, I wonder if you could somehow get this onto that great tapestry that I was talking about. That yeah, might help. That could I help. See. All right. Well, let let. Uh, let us consult with the mages because otherwise it'll just be a picture of the symbol rather than the symbol itself, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Right. She sends out word to the mages. They make their collective brain roll. They are not experts at this part of it, so let's see how they do. We know what to do. <laughs> right. Uh, wow. How the crafting thing for the big glove. People are much better at cloth here. But, you know, they have issues. They have, it is ask if either of you know how to sew. That's not that's nothing I can do. No. I, I can try. All right. Give me a sewing roll. Uh, I'll help him. Excellent. Give me a sewing roll. You can both try it separately. No problem at all. Yeah, I'll try it separately then. There's plenty of cloth to go around. Oh, this, yeah, I made it. Apparently, you were a seamstress and did not know it. Congratulations. Do you have, do you have any plus skills, skill cards? Uh, mm, no. They, of course, get the uh, exact measurements and stuff from you, which you don't know as you've never done this before, but you give them as best you can. So basically, it'll be like a big Santa Claus sack that hopefully is 10 times the, you're getting, you're making me a pro you're a doctor, you know, body dimensions, but um, yeah, again, it'll be a big Santa Claus sack that you stick over. Can you just trade me any one of your cards and then you're going to be playing that assistant 10 on me? Mm. Oh, uh, do you want a swimming 
card. Sure. So, yeah. By the way, uh, be sure to take a check and learn as well as sewing there, Freddie. Yeah. You are picking up a new write-in skill. Congratulations. Yay. Yay. Nope. Well, apparently Freddy's intent on redeeming himself. Meanwhile, the wizards all get together and they stick a, uh, a big pentagram with a flaming eye in the center on the uh, the glove. They, they do rituals and they dance and they sing uh, and etc. cetera. Um, yeah, so uh, you're thinking that it may actually be effective. I mean... Can I assist? Uh, in their ritual? Uh, no, they don't want any assistance because they're dicks. I am a wizard, mind you. Uh, give me a fast talk roll. <clears throat> hmm. Quarter. Yeah, okay. They say... <laughs> kind of role do you want, Logan? Uh, learn. Good luck. We're all counting on you. I don't have anything, sorry. Since I... Now, hold on a second. Can I support my learn with a spellcrafting role? Yes. See, this is why Chris keeps picking up fucking bullshit is because he'll go, you know, let's do this. and Got it by quarter. Okay, so uh, you got five on your learn. You know what? Back. I'm going to play the replenish. Uh, oh, okay. See, this is how um, he picks up all these fucking wizard skills. So, by the way, since you've made it at a quarter, if you want uh, – uh, punishment detail boy to help out. Uh, they at a quarter, yeah, they're pretty much like, oh, well, uh, I guess, okay, up to you. Do you want him I mean, to help do your job? It would, at learn for me, so. it would totally be at learn. Of course, a uh, fumble could throw off everything, but he managed to convince him he's a great wizard. Oh, play I my have happy a. Pie. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I have a skill plus five that I can trade you, and another replenish. Ooh. You have. Oh. I'm sorry. You have a skill five and a what else? Replenish. Okay. Um, well, he has let a me just. Let me play these two for myself. The outdoors person. Good call. Um, what is um. What kind of survival do you like there's a box in survival? What do you put in there? Um, I would ask Chris what kind of survival he recommends. Yeah, what what should I put? Well honestly I think the, the hardest ones to know are Arctic and uh desert. Yeah. Because any other any other one you could usually find something or like trudge through. But Arctic, you just die. Desert <laughs> You just fucking die. Yeah. I mean, you could survive in the plains without water and food for a long time. You can't in an Arctic condition. You can't in a desert condition. So I would either do Arctic or desert. Hell, I do Arctic because we do come across yeah, the doing, Arctic in yeah, that one. Arctic. So if it's at low right now, does it just go up by 10? Uh-huh. Okay, cool. Do you have any victories? Mm. By the way, no, uh, I have fighting Shugoth is a prestige module, gentlemen. I have one clogging greed, and that's it. Although I, okay. although uh, I am honor bound to tell you that you may get to experience the resurrection system within the game. I also have one opponent <sighs> fails, which might be useful for the Shugoth. 
I'm All right, pretty, cool that. pretty certain it's going to come down to Chris fighting it by himself. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, well, they, they're they're really scared about sending out a boatload of uh, archers because the boat will get capsized. They'll all be swimming, and then the Shargoth will eat them. Uh, do you want me to play the replenish? Oh, uh, if I before you do that, if either of you can make a geology roll, then uh, Chris can get some reassurance. Okay. Geology. Hmm. Oh, I made it. Oh. Holy shit. Right. Apparently, a uh, punishment detail guy is really coming through. He, he, he says that based on the, uh, the kind of land and uh, water and stuff, he believes that it should be about maybe 50-ish uh, feet deep or five, about five stories deep in the area. 50 that, feet. Yeah. Okay. That's what he believes. I'm calling him punishment detail guy because you did. <laughs> so he is redeeming himself. He's really good at some shit, apparently, like sewing. Who the fuck knew? <laughs> okay. So are you ready? Yeah, for why don't you the... play the replenish? No, play the replenish. Uh, yeah. Do you want the opponent fails or no? No. no. I know he's going for. He's going for skill plus cards. He wants the I can do it. It would make him cream in his jeans. Oh, I can't believe you callous bastards covered up Mr. Pickle's picture. <gasps> so naughty. He didn't even have a speaking part in this one. Ah, oh, damn it. Um, I have a reroll if you want one. Nah, it doesn't matter. I, I just pulled a no, uh, World of oh, Pain. Oh, I have a, I have a skill plus 10. World of Pain. Everybody immediately discards all their cards and does not refill oh. their hand. This all sounds right, appropriate right. before fighting a Shagoth. Yes, yes. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to try my ritual magic skill at a plus 10. Plus 10? Yeah, I already played the five. I was looking ah. for other cards. Ah. I, I didn't make it. Interesting note on the architecture in this place. Mm -hmm. Some of the buildings are like, boom, slick, well done. Others, uh, the majority, I would say, look like they were built by people who didn't know what they were doing but determined to put up a building okay it's very strange it's it's night and day uh although the shittier ones look like they started really shitty and are slowly getting better but it doesn't explain the boom nicely done everything completely proper buildings Weird. All the nicely done buildings associated I can't hear with you. Alex. The noise is coming out of your mic. I think you muted yourself. How about now? Is that right? No? Still can't hear you. Now? Oh, wait. I don't have my fucking headphones on. I'm an idiot. Sorry. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Uh, I was like... No. Oh, it works. I wonder what's wrong. <laughs> Me, I'm dumb. Okay, sorry. Um, Go ahead. Are the nice ones associated with um, Alex Kinley by any chance? No, not really. None of them are. All, all. Uh, it seems that uh, the shittier ones are. Oh. It's weird. Oh. Hmm. I, I mean, it's it's a big. Big difference too. It, it, just imagine like a completely professionally ha built house versus you know uh, get a bunch of teenagers together and go build me a house. Here's some shit to do it with. Good luck. Oh, weird. Super uh, weird. Can I? <laughs> no, that's not really now. Also. Also, the newer stuff has kind of a different architectural style altogether. Now, uh, Clems is a completely different thing. It looks like every other Clems. All of them well, look yeah. the same. Big window, yeah. everything. Thought yeah. I'd point that out to you because there's nothing like finding yet another fucking mystery in this goddamn world. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
because they'd be everywhere. Hmm. I wonder if I wonder if guns work. Yeah. Only one way to find out. I, I don't have one. Okay. <laughs> that uh, makes it more difficult to find out. Although they mm, someone mentioned it, I think it may have been Darius or one of the leaders said that the dinosaur riding people had guns, if I remember correctly. Mm. Um, so maybe they do work. Yeah. Oh, he's, it was definitely said that they had them. But whether they worked or not, okay. Yeah, whether they used them or not. Mm -hmm. This is a mystery. So, yeah. Because, mm. I mean, technology, like I can understand electricity not working, but mm -hmm. guns are mechanical. They should mechanical work. Mechanical chemical. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I'll ask him, though, when it comes hmm. back. Because hmm. what I'm thinking, if they do work, <clears throat> just get some enchanted bullets and just shoot the shot off. But if they don't work, then that's not going to do anything. Enchanted bullets, you say? Yeah. Just with the special symbol thing that you mentioned, just plonk out to the bullet. Well, just making the one special symbol, all the mages worked their asses off on it, and it seemed to take a lot out of them. Oh. So, you're not sure if making, say, a couple hundred of them for bullets. All right, well, maybe then just one giant bazooka-sized hmm. thing. The fun thing is, I don't think any of the PCs knows how to fire a bazooka. Probably not. Now, that's one of the brilliant things about the system, is you can take something fucked up like demolitions or uh, heavy weapon bazooka and be the only guy out of like the 20 who have characters or whatever that has that. And when it comes up, you're the bazooka guy. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, people were saying, you know, everybody will just take all the good skills. Doesn't work like that. <laughs> I mean, people would like to, but mm, you, there's so many different skills that... Yeah, there's a buttload of skills. Oh, yeah. Which is Plus, good. I like that. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of people that think there should be only 30 skills. And I'm like, what? No. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. No. Well, so I, like, I like all the goofy skills, like sewing. Yeah. How many yeah, sewing, have why not? Yeah. Yeah. Plus, if you if you continue working at it and all that, you know, try to do it once in an adventure, which is not really hard. Nothing blows up or goes completely wrong. Oh, I jabbed my finger with the needle. It really hurts. That's about as bad as it gets with sewing. Or, oh, I sewed my pant leg to a piece of cloth. I've seen that done. That's about as bad as it gets. You're not really like, oh, I failed my demolition roll. <laughs> oh, you I failed my cooking roll. I set the building on fire. That was fucking priceless. That is the <laughs> best scene so far. <laughs> mm. I'll tell you, I, I really wish that this was a fucking TV show. Or something like that. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Nice high budget TV show. I just can't wait until Pete finds out about this. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, that should be priceless. <laughs> oh, yeah, but. Everybody does shit like that from time to time, which I mean, it happens, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the fun thing is the fault of the dice, not really the player. You didn't go, I want to do something stupid. 
No, yeah. it's just I'm going to make a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure when he listens to this, he'll be like, oh my God. But that's like uh, August, I think. Oh, that's yeah, a long way away, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the shows come out one hour per day, every day. And so, yeah, there's that much uh, backlog. Mm. I game a lot. Yeah. I like that you're signing up for a lot, but still you're um, being generous to the air players and uh, making sure that there's openings yeah, for yeah. them as well. Because yeah. I know you got a little bit of free time. Mm. Um, but on days when people aren't all signed up, I would definitely consider uh, doing some sharking, especially since you're in the same... Uh, Time zone. Yeah. Can do. Let me read I mean, aloud. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, what I, were you saying? No, I mean, usually what I do is I look ahead like a few months, sign up to the normal days, and if something happens to free up and I've already been playing a lot, I usually wait a few days to let someone else. Mm-hmm. Play and then if it gets close to the day, then I'll try and sign up if no one else has. Brilliant. Let me read something that Matt put up. Oh, cool. That way uh, we also uh, have it on recording. Uh, Matt, that's the player of Alex Kinley for those at home. Says, so Logan and I were sitting around chatting the other night, as we do, and I started on a rant, as I do, after a couple of beers. Logan said, I really like that. It would be good advice for people new to the game. Can you write up something along those lines and post it up? And I said, okay, then. This might help some brand-new players to game or seasoned players who are new at the system. The world we play in is constantly evolving and changing, meaning things are never static. What you might find on one day might have changed a year later, a month later, a week later, or even a day later. Never presume that things will be the same if you have to go back to them. Now, we can't deal with everything we come up against straight away. There's just too much going on. So to my next point, prioritize. It might take a while for some, but after some experience playing, you will start to recognize, quote, important plot lines and, quote, not so important plot lines. The not-so-important plot lines will still change depending on external stimuli, but generally if they are left for X amount of time, it will not impact the world too drastically. The important plot lines, if left too long, can fester into some world-changing slash ending situations. One last thing of note, on rare occasions, some of the not-so-important types can change into important types over time, so it's always good uh, to check back on these when you can make, when you can do it to make sure that's good advice yeah yeah, really good advice. yeah. well most most people he pointed out there they they don't run campaigns like that it's like this is your dungeon or this is your guy you got to go kill and yeah. that's all we're talking about the next week or what i like having a busy world if i if i was infinitely smarter um I would love to have like shit going on with other NPCs that the PCs hear about and never interact with and stuff like that. Just shit going on elsewhere in the world, mm. which for less good players would fuck with them because they'd be like, is that not, is that my plot hook? No, it doesn't, I'm not sure what, seriously, I have a lot of players that are like, um, if just left to their own devices, they don't know what to do. The whole concept yeah. of a sandbox is alien. Yeah. So. Yeah, there's a lot going on, and it's. I mean, a lot of people like just linear point A to point B kind of stuff, but I prefer personally because I played a lot of um, linear games in general. Just uh-huh. something that lets you. Do whatever you want. Just, hey, you, you want to go to this place? Do that, sure. Go for it. You know that that kind of thing. So um, yeah. But it can be, understandably, a bit overwhelming. Mm-hmm. For some people. I would. I think 
for me though, I'd rather feel um, a bit overwhelmed in the campaign rather than bored. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's no no one says you need to remember or know every little mm-hmm. thing. Just do what you can, and hopefully the rest of the players can help out with all the other stuff and just have fun, basically. Hmm. Hello. Hey. All right. By the way, uh, sometime uh, on the ATAW boards, Matt put up uh, some new player advice, Chris. Okay. But you've been around since fucking Moses came down from the mountain and said, the hell is wrong with you people? I would, wouldn't mind it if you were to put up a brief post on uh, anything you think would be helpful for new players after you read his. 